wouldn't dream of taking revenge. Let's get over to the tennis courts. <laughs> You will be coming to my birthday party, won't you, Susan? <laughs> Unless something promises to be more, more entertaining elsewhere. Nice to have you back, Polly. I'm afraid Tweedles is right. Susan did have her heart set on winning that crown. If she wants it, she can have it. Easy come, easy go. You're such a card. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are, my dear. You missed your breakfast. The codfish cakes were a trifle dry. I have so much on my mind. Come and meet my niece. Polly, this is the Duke and Duchess of Milford, house guests. They're advising me on business matters. You know, stocks and bonds. I can never figure out what's up and what's down. You've ever been to me, Mrs. Granville. I like to do both. The Duke is a financial wizard. I've been a king before, Paul Whiteman, the king of Swift, but never a Duke or Duchess. You have now, my dear. No need to feel oppressed. I'm not oppressed. I get around. This modern age, I will never completely understand it. I'm for that warm bath in Augusta, and my glass of sparkling Colbert ginger ale. See you around, Duke and Duchess. Is my niece something special? Charming. Delightful. So perfect. Such confidence. She has stuff on my side of the family. I'll make sure she's everything she needs. By the way, Mrs. Granville, the Manchurian stocks and bonds are paying 48%. 48%? Sounds like, well, I won't be a moment. Maybe we can play a game of Mahjong later. As soon as she hands her over the check, let's head north for the border. The border can wait. What? We're in high society territory. We can't rush these things. You don't have any patience. It's too good to mess up. We're not going to mess it up. How much do you figure she's good for? Plenty. We're lucky she can't tell the difference between sun up and sun down. No sure make our job a lot easier. <laughs>